Good afternoon class. Today we will be learning how to examine a weapon. Now a forensic medicine expert may receive a weapon from the police in relation to crimes like an assault or a murder. We have to examine the weapon and determine whether the specific weapon or a weapon similar to it could have been used to commit the crime. The concerned police officer has handed over a sealed white colored cloth packet with the alleged weapon inside. As you can see there is a label present over the front of the packet with the details of the case. There are six red colored wax seals present along the stitched sides of the cloth packet. After noting down these details, we can open the packet. Now, we can see that the alleged weapon is a single edge knife with a pointed tip. We can describe the knife as a light sharp weapon with the blunt edge having serrations. It also has a metal hilt and a plastic handle. Using the digital scale, we can see that it weighs 127 grams. Now we take the various measurements of the weapon. The knife measures 26.5 centimeters in length. The metal blade measures 14 centimeters in length. On closer examination, we see that the maximum width of the blade is 3 centimeters, which is at a point 5 centimeters from the hilt. The maximum thickness of the blunt edge of the blade is 0.6 centimeters. The sharp edge towards the tip is curved. Along the blunt edge of the knife, there are 10 small V-shaped serrations and a larger U-shaped gap. The V-shaped serrations start 4.5 centimeters from the tip and ends 3.5 centimeters from the hilt. And they are equidistant from each other at a distance of 0.4 centimeters. The width of the U-shaped gap is 1.5 centimeter. We should look for stains along the weapon as it may indicate the presence of blood stains or rust. This should then be described in the report. Moving on, the metal hilt measures 5.8 centimeters in length, 1.5 centimeters in width and has a thickness of 0.3 centimeters. The handle is made of a black colored plastic measuring 12.5 centimeters in length and is 11.5 centimeters at its greatest circumference. It has five circumferential grooves measuring 0.2 centimeters in width. These circumferential grooves are placed 2 centimeters from the hilt and 1.6 centimeters from each other. There are two silver colored metal rings on the fifth group. After examination, I will now mark my initials and the date on the blade with a permanent marker. Now I will pack the weapon in a cover and seal it. The seal is placed using melted red wax and a metal seal with the inscription FMCMC. If the investigating officer has any query regarding correlation of the weapon with the injuries described in the post-mortem report, an opinion to that effect can be given. This concludes the weapon examination. Thank you.